one to ninety four in the favor in favor of HBQ. We are already on second map, waiting for players to ready up, and this will be interesting. This should be uh, really equal since HBQ also knows this map, unlike uh, DM8. Ah, so the let's final. hope to see I... even match. Yeah, go on. I'll name the final standings. It's Geth with 47 fags and under 15 depths. He was holding rail position plus 32 net. Rascal on the s like on the second place. Uh, the place doesn't matter really in our league, but uh, still he's second in scoring. 42 frags, 21 deaths, plus 21. Necro, 40 frags, 40 deaths, but I guess there were some uh, problems with uh, team kills, so he has plus 2 net, despite it should be 0. And Zora with 32 frags, 33 deaths. Interesting net, it's just plus 1, despite <laughs> it should be minus 1. So, <laughs> another team, another team. CS3, the frag leader for Polish. Uh, 30 frags, 45 deaths, Peach on 2nd, 27, 34, David, 3rd, 20 frags, 51 deaths, minus 29, and same net as David, but on last place with frags, only 17 frags, it's perfect, 40, 46 deaths. When in warm-up mode, so, whom are we specking at the moment? We are looking at till Rascal. Rascal is just standing. Let's maybe yeah. change some, change the point of view for a second. I guess Rascal went to have a s smoke, maybe. It's good. Beecher. Uh, just. <laughs> nice polish. Yes, it is. So, uh... Beecher. Beecher was just at Mega. You should use the jumps past the red armor. You should no, use. No, I'm, I'm, I'm introducing the map. Okay, but I, I just said that you should both use pet squad. In this case, it should be more interesting, maybe. Yeah, follow. Yeah. Board. It's okay. It's gonna change when they take board. One second, I need to look. Again, Rascal. Where is he? So, we see two lifts. One is going straight up and one is going down. Oh, another lift. He's moving so quickly. Here's a rocket launcher position. That's a device you need to fight for. Here's the chain gun in the water. Now he's just standing again. But behind him, there is a way to the red armor lift. That's the key position on this map, even despite there is quad, but still. Red armor lift with the... Because the two weapons are spawning there. BFG and railgun. One at a time. Randomly. And uh, the red armor, the only armor, there are no... Not even a single shot on this map. Just uh, red armor. That's spawning there, up there at lift. Oh, at the moment we're situated at the Mega area, that's another very important position, because for those people, for those who take Quad, Mega is very important, if you need, if you have, uh, Mega allows you to survive the rail shot, so you, you have no armor, you have no shards, you have no other health pickups, so... Mega health is very important. Yeah, by the way, I was told to say some jokes. I mean, we should uh, say some jokes, so... Because About we are, uh, I guess, too boring. entering a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, did you hear any good jokes lately? Because I for sure didn't. No, oh, I just, I just remembered, remembered, uh... Just remember one Russian joke. Yeah, go no, on. At least it was it was told about about Russian. So 
aliens. Uh, it's an old one. I, I don't I don't know why I just remembered just that, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. So aliens have captured three people, three guys, American, I know English, and the Russian. And um, uh, they put them in totally dark and sealed rooms and gave them two, two balls, two unbreakable balls, two, two titanium balls, and said uh, the one that shows some the most interesting and funny thing with those balls, that one will let go. The others will have to suffer the crucifixion. I don't know, the horrible fate of death and agony. So they come to the first room and there sits the American who is uh, who started juggling those balls all around him from from down the leg, I don't know. <laughs> the aliens thought that ah, that's kinda of boring and killed the American. Uh, then comes the uh, they come to the second room, but there was uh, like the English dude, and uh, they looked at him, like juggling those balls, uh, swallowing it, and uh, the ball coming uh, right back <laughs> from another hole. They thought that was oh, that was pretty funny. I think we'll let you live, but just in case, we'll see what like the Russian dude is doing. So they're coming from uh, the second room and laughing, really laughing out loud. <laughs> so the Englishman asked, like, "What what could he possibly do with those balls? More funny and interesting than I did." And then I said, "Oh, he broke one ball and another one lost." <laughs> that was that was that was too long for a story. Yeah, I think I heard it for some time, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's it was. Three nationality. It's yeah. yeah. The last one has to be your own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For those you, of you who don't know, I'm Russian, from Estonia. Someone kind of both Estonian and Russian, but mostly Russian. Mm, we have to kick someone. No, no. There is one spot. I have no idea what they're saying. Now the guess... CS freezing. Uh, well, I've got some response about your joke. I'm not sure if I should say it out loud. Yeah, that that was that was sucky because I understood that it was too long for a joke. Ah, too I'll bad. try to do something else. Well, th there was this short joke, but I don't think I should say it out loud because it's it's not nice. <laughs> Okay, so we have eight people here. Seven are ready up, and we are waiting for CS3. Now they are all ready. And five seconds till the start. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it's gonna change soon because somebody will take quad. Yes, yes, three took quad. And he's jumping to Mega House. But the uh, Necro took it and made uh, 8, 90 damage CS3. So with quad, he's kinda low. Uh, sorry, I have to go away for, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, so let's see who is holding RA position. I... Ooh, it was held by HBQ, but Sora got killed by Pepek. So HBQ lost the position, and they're trying to take it back. Now the quad will spawn in, in like 5 seconds 
And there are two H uh, V3 guys. V3 took it. It was, I believe, CS3, but he died. Necro killed him right away. So, no use of this board. Wow. Even though V3 is holding up uh, RA lift, the score is pretty even. And even uh, AJQ is leading. No, oh, not anymore. It's uh, 11 to 11. Uh, Pepe is still up on red armor, so V3 got this position secured. AJQ will have to probably wait uh, for next next quad and try to take it, take the main lift back. Uh, it's kind of important position because. Uh, there's only one lift going up, uh, the other way you can get up is just by a granite jump or rocket jump or double jump uh, on your enemy, but it's uh, really difficult to do so because uh, the guy who is uh, standing up there and keeping the position uh, has easy shot on you so can kill you quite easily. And we see CCS reading Really nice job from the railgun he got from the lift. David is holding the upper upper lift area. The best way to protect that lift is with a rocket launcher because yeah, there is a long shaft, long way up the lift, so you can uh, spam several rockets down there and kill the attacker. And of course, you have an endless supply of red armor there. The best way to get the if you're attacking, if you're trying to regain the position, is to go uh, go with a rocket jump. You, for example, grab a uh, mega health. Rocket jump takes 50 health from you, so basically you can, uh, with any amount of health, you can not not yeah, any. Yeah. But if you have 100 HP, you can uh, jump. The second way is uh, a double jump from your teammate. One person sits. I have this small ladder here, and another jumps, makes a double jump to the lift. And the yeah, third, can... uh, good, uh, very good uh, way to regain the armor is to throw a quad grenade inside there. Which Gert, as the quarter at this time, didn't do. He tried to spam with uh, rockets, but uh, I think V3 is uh, experienced enough not to get caught off guard by just a uh, rocket spam. At the moment, HBQ needs to re regroup at quad, take the next quad, and then uh, make a strategical attack. So they get the quad. And quad is killed inside by Peacher. He sacrificed his life get that quad killed. Oh my god, what such a mistake by CS3, he dropped the rail. Try to drop the slugs, if you drop the slag, the slugs, then when you die the rail doesn't come, uh, doesn't fall. But he had several rail guns, oh, that was a lucky grenade. He had several <laughs> yeah, rail guns, <laughs> so he dropped a whole rail gun to the enemy. Gert is pretty low right now. The positioning on the map, I forgot to mention that. For those who might be wondering which would be the positioning. One should hold the red armor lift and red armor elevator. One should hold mega health. Uh, then one should run frags under the, under the lift, under the red armor lift. And uh, one is holding the... Yeah, we could see just the quad rocket from Zora. So I believe nobody's up now. He's waiting below. So let's yeah, hope I Oh no, there's David still up. Oh. I didn't know I that. I told you. To... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. What? When... Uh... When you hear that the quad is up, that the quad is taken by the enemy. 
it's, there are often two or sometimes even three guys on the lift hiding there. One is main with, with his rocket launcher and another is trying to deny uh, quad grenades or rocket jumps and like standing in front. So if the first guy, uh, if the second guy dies, if one of them dies, another regains, regains the position, I mean takes over. Oh, oh my, such an mistake. unfortunate quad rocket. Yeah, he had chain. I don't understand why he changed. He switched weapon to rocket launcher. I'll check. I'll check how V3 is doing at the moment at the lift. Peacher got the mega health. David is kind of low. He's only 59 to 48. Teammates bringing rockets to him, so he. He's kind of confident, and V3 is taking the power-ups, all power-ups needed. Oh, and V3 is rushing to SSG and Quad. Uh, Rascal managed to take it. Now see, all he needs he is to get out. He needs to get out of this water. Yeah, those ladders are tricky sometimes. And somebody, somebody of the Polish, two rail guns are trying to. Three enemies trying to kill the quad. Oh, the quad he's is just very five low. points. But he manages to throw a quad grenade to the left. No, I don't. No. I don't think it was quad grenade because the quad was uh, worn off already, and when it's worn off, it doesn't count anymore. It's like when you shoot a long distance rocket and you take quad uh, before it, hit, it it hits the ground or something, then it's quad rocket when it explodes. That's that's how it works in 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 Quake. Mm. Another thing to mention. Quad damage is the original quad damage like in Quake 1 it does quadruple damage. So the best weapon to to shoot with quad is super shotgun and chain gun. Where you can make uh, by the way, V3 got the quad. They got the red armor and they got the quad. <laughs> yeah, so... but perfect did some nice team kill. When you have yep. the control of the red armor and the rail guns, you don't actually, you don't really need to take the quad. You just need to kill it on sight. You, you just have to not let uh, the opponent get out of the water. And not, not allowed to make a lot of frags. But if you, with the uh, red armor possession, manage to take the quad, yeah, Another V3 quad goes to, to the V3. It's yeah, a huge HBQ bonus. Didn't manage to didn't manage to get any players over there. Kinda weird that they are giving this squad for free. I see HBQ Gerd. seems kind of lost. I see Gerd running around with BFG. I don't understand how he got it. Oh, HBQ. They got the, the red armor. Oh my god, V3 lost the red armor. I didn't notice no that. No wonder, no wonder that but who is uh, up? Because everybody I see from V3. No, don't die. Yeah, ah. the Zora is up. <clears throat> yeah, now so they now? just need to stack up and uh, attack quad. But V3, you see how V3 are team protecting the quad area. Like they're spamming, they, they don't let... They don't let the enemy come from the main entrance. Yeah, we, V3 managed to take another quad. Do not but, attack, bro. Uh, Grenade master. The quad killer? <laughs> yeah, made, uh, made it impossible to convert quad into some frags. Because he killed the quarter, what guy. 
This is for sure is going to help a bit to HBQ. Almost got denied by Necro, but another quad for V3 and a BFG Blast. Blast Necro Wave. Uh, blast feature. Into bits. Oh, we're a little bit silent. Because I see no no real action. I mean, Peacher takes the quad and then starts camping. Of course, they need to be very careful at the moment. They cannot give away their advantage. I see V3 has a railgun. Managed to steal a railgun, but there are no rail ammo. So if you get the railgun, you have only 10 cells. The next railgun will be coming from the 10 slips area. Screen. Yeah, yeah. Ten shots. Yeah, we three minutes. Another, another quad. Yeah, and uh, Pietra has uh, mega health, so ah, but he got rocket, so maybe he will die soon. Ah. Nice grenade by Gert. He got killed by Gert. Yeah, we can see some in-game line by Necro. Who's game? Isn't going as he wanted, I guess. I think that's because of V3 controlling the armors for so for such a long time. Now Rascal is attacking with the railgun, and who will get the next squad? There are six minutes and a thirty-five frag difference. It will be kind of. Oh, vision got dropped! Again, I'm it's second time already. Tell me if I should kick someone. Nah, it's okay. Another quad by Peacher. And he's already being denied to go the... to go from the attack position. No, he has Mega, but no, he he's to take expecting. Mega. Getting a granite, please. Minus one at if, but there was certainly at least three players, at least three HBQ players being on the lift. So it's still in HBQ position. <laughs> yeah, and uh, V3 is leading by almost 40 frags. There are six minutes left. I don't. It's not going to be easy to win this for HBQ. Yeah, 39 frags different. Oh, I, I don't understand what HPQ is doing. Maybe they got a little bit demoralized. Oh, no, unfortunate yeah, collision. And Perfect is already trying to frag with a quad. He has the highest ping, by the way. Ping 60. And V3 got regained the left position again. So I guess all hopes is lost. It's yeah, very 40. likely. Now we, we will see, I guess, uh, next one. And then <laughs> let's hope for fifth map if HP goes this. So the next, the next map will be do or die for HBQ. If they lose next yeah. one, it will be all over. We can see Pietra them. already with, with Mega Hall, grabbing some chain and uh, super shotgun. And the again, magical Necro, Necro comes. Ne Necro throws two, two grenades and he kills the good guy with 180 hit points. That's amazing play. Too bad it's, it didn't happen before. Uh...
Feature, I just isn't it? <laughs> in a blaster finished him off. We also need to mention that this is the uh, first final of Division 1 for V3. They never oh, reached nice. finals before, but they also didn't have these players all the time, so... This... but they have changed the, their squad list. Yeah. TS3 yeah, and David are quite new. Uh, not, uh, new to V3. Yeah, TS3 yeah, was inactive, and David uh, and David is really a young player. If, yeah, I think he's like 14 years old or something. 40? Can't be. Yeah. No, so I, I heard something like that from somewhere. Someone. 14 nice. year old players, they play they play Counter Strike. You don't play Quake. Why should you start playing Quake if you're 14? <laughs> because it's so awesome game. <laughs> <sighs> yes, it's awesome. Oh. Okay, now we see. David is, by the way, doing pretty pretty nice in the European Duel League. Also, oh, so it's a new talent. Fresh blood. This yeah. game needs this. I believe he won the group. Yeah. He did. Feature we'll see again. how he will do. Feature with we should not even we should, we should to expect Necro SSG. somewhere. You see, <laughs> yeah. you see Feature is running. <laughs> it was good this time, luckily. Peach uh, got almost killed by his own teammate's BFG blast and then finished off by Gert with a single blaster shot. That was very unfortunate. Oh, what a grenade. That was epic. Yeah. Surely unexpected by Rascal. That <laughs> Minus yeah, that Mega nice. Health. Sharing weapons. Do you remember the frag difference on DM1? Mm. Just in case we go for the decider. I hope we go for the decider. I will check. Printed. Necro denied this time. Feature survives with a quad. <laughs> now Gert is doing Necro's job with those grenade quad grenade killings. Oh, well, everybody. it was it was 23, 26 frags in favor of uh, V3 on DM8. Then it was uh, 67 for HBQ. So much fortunate. Yeah. And Not very no. tactical play, but I see that V3 lost the red armor once again. And of course, I noticed it a little bit late, but I just didn't notice. Didn't. And we see a real <laughs> attack for Quad by Rascal. So now it's this it time was... HQ uh, has both both power ups, both sides of the map, and Rascal is. Doing very very impressive job on spawn killing. Why doesn't he go up a lift? I guess he's, there's no point since there are only five seconds left. Okay, so, so this... V3 wins 144, 144 to 103. That's plus 41 frag. Let's go with the statistics. Let's go with the statistics. CS3 the frag leader with 44 frags, 34 deaths. Peach 42 frags, 34 deaths. Pepec 37 frags, 26 deaths. And David the lowest score of the Polish team 21 frags 29 deaths minus 7
HBQ 32 frags by Gerd 45 deaths, Necro 27 to 46, Rascal 24 frags, 48 deaths, and Zorre with 20 frags and 25 deaths. And I see that both clans have uh, some players. Some backup players, but nobody is really changing. So, oh no, they have changed. They have changed Pepek to Physiac. Yeah, I believe this is Physiac's map. The, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah there, there is squad damage. There is squad damage. Tom, who was pecking? Feature. Feature. At the moment, feature <laughs> is at, at the quad area. The main area of all events. Basically, the map is divided in two halves. One is Mega Health, Armor and Chain Gun, and another is Armor and Quad Damage. Here we see the Quad Damage. You need to master a tricky, tricky jump to get to that quad, which is situated in that... Mm, whatever you call it, I don't know. But it's there. It's there. I'm waiting till the moment when we get to the mega area. See where the mega is situa situated. And oh, again, see the we're waiting up there. for V three guys. V ah. three is a Polish clan, so it's. Uh, next one is not the favorite map for uh, Polish players because uh, it's not in uh, Polish League's map all. Yeah, I believe that's the reason why HB could pick it as well. Also, also Gert does a really good job at uh, Mega Position. So let's see how it goes. All the players are ready. And five seconds until the start. What goes to feature? Yeah, and he got it dies immediately. Almost by Gert, who managed to get uh, Mega and Chengan. Now he's going back and. Just do his do his job. One second, I'm away a little bit. Yeah, Gerd is doing a good job at Mega, killing enemies. Playing from Mega is really a very good tactics on this map. You don't really have to hold the floor area. You just have to rush it from mega. If you have a mega health and an armor, if, for example, between two quads, quad appears every every 60 seconds. So between two quads, you can get two or even three yellow armors. Mega and several chain guns and several rocket launchers that are spawning at the Mega area. I think Peacher wants to perform an attack on Mega, but he's afraid because he's low. And he doesn't have a quad, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, quad got killed, I believe. Almost right at away. The at the moment, I'm just... I'm seeing this very tactics, because... Really, HBQ doesn't attack the squad area. They don't need it until the quad. They're stacking up at the Mega. Perform uh, an attack. A little bit sloppy they go. David manages to screw every the attack over. But here comes two chain guns. And denied by Physic. TS3 with a quad. Doing some fragging, and I think he's going through the hyper blaster. Yeah, there are two HPQ guys. He sees. <laughs> oh, denied nice. by Gerd. 
Nice rocket, yeah. Kind of lucky. Uh, it was, I think it was uh, CS3 sloppy movement. He was overconfident with his squad position. So he thought, ah, what's that? Rocket launcher, come on, I'll kill everybody there. Yeah, it seems like V3 is just struggling on this map. Like they don't know what to do or... It it really seems like they are not playing it much. Like uh, like you said, because it's not in uh, Polish TDM League map list. Oh, they're left with only one yellow armor and super shotgun. Uh, and Fizik gets the quad, but he's with a blast. He's hoping for a hyper blast. Oh, he, he didn't even look there at first. He needs a weapon to start fragging. He gets a, an empty super shotgun. Ha, <laughs> he didn't notice Zore hiding behind the corner. So, quad <laughs> once again denied. An unfortunate team killed by Peacher. Yeah, I'm surprised that Gerd is uh, jumping around the map, not just uh, holding, holding Mega. Maybe, maybe they are switching positions with somebody else, like Zora or something. No, I think it's it's Rascal. I've seen Rascal several times there with the chain gun. Okay, but it's a it's a nice tactic to switch. If, for example, you have. Uh, You have someone attacking the quad with the chain gun, uh, and uh, you just switch, take a weapon, and uh, look after the mega area. Well, one guy. And Netro gets the quad, but he's so low, manages to make a frag. <laughs> I believe this is the first quad for for HBQ. And denied by CO3. Yeah. Nice rocket. Nice. You see, Rascal is doing plus 8. No, I think you can't see it, but I'm telling you. Rascal is yeah. plus 8, only 2 deaths. I think Rascal is holding the Mega. Maybe they switch yeah, with Gert. And now, Mega area. Small attack. By V3. And they take over. Yeah, I see Gur trying to clean the quad area. He managed to kill two enemies. But he's, he has only 12 hit points and he died by CS3's uh, granite. Quad killed on side. Yeah, An attack with a high plus on the Mega. When, uh, all the... when two top teams play, they cannot really afford to let the other team take quad, so they are really rushing the quad area and trying to kill the enemy. TS3 gets some grenades, maybe he will do something with them. Yeah, I can see Gerd again attacking quad area. Four Polish players at quad, and only one Gert is attacking them. <laughs> I think it is, it's his own initiative. Oh, now it's timing, now it's quad, oh, and the quad. Crap. Yeah, Gert was taken down by Zora's rocket. Yeah. Too bad, too bad. It could be a really nice run, because uh, Gert had like uh, 80 points, I believe. Very nice hyper blaster. He's very low, but ah, denied by CS3. Yeah, at least he managed managed to kill uh, the guy with the mega and the chain gun. Yeah, exactly. Position switch so so fast. I can't really understand who is in control. Well, according to the score, HBQ should be should have a little more control. You know the possibility, maybe Gert is holding the hyperblast area. That's another yeah. very nice tactical thing. Yeah, it seems, with the quad. 
It seems like, will see like something it's interesting. Yeah, but it's out of It looks so chest. easy. How, how... Oh, he missed the shells. It was there at the shells, but he didn't take yeah, them. Yeah, so he, I think he, he gave away I think all he his doesn't stack. Know. I think he doesn't know the shells are there. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> ah, but he made a good one run. Kill at least four enemies, or more, five even. And now we're seeing HBQ in the control of the quad area. We'll see, we'll see where it all goes. Zorro got killed at the quad. Quad is up! Did you goes see that? The feature, that it will be Necro, Necro dropping down weapon for Gert, but uh, Picha took it, I think. And he managed to. Take it and jump to quad and take the quad as well. So it was like I was saying that you can drop weapons to your opponents as well. You just saw it. <laughs> V3 at quad again. That's one time it's one team, then it's another team. Everything's peaceful and calm. Necro with his magical grenades does a frag. See some action at the quad. Everybody shooting everybody. <laughs> yeah, some team kills. And Peach is waiting for quad and he gets it. He has some stag. He has 60 health and 45 armor. Going up for 85 health and uh, there will be an attack on the mega area. Several nice frags. Mega spawning in 20 seconds, he grabs the chain gun, unfortunate team kill. I was leaving the mega area back for the quad area. And the quad is up, the next will be in 30 seconds and V3 seems to be having all the positions. I saw two V3 guys at, at uh, the mega and two, v three V3 guys at Area. Ah. What an awful shot. Yeah, but we can see that the V3 managed to close the gap just to four, six frags. It was 20 frags before. Oh my god, that was the most unfortunate quad grab. Yeah, frag difference now is just by three frags. With HBQ trying to hold the quad area. They are trying to survive to my mind. They are mega, but everybody, nobody has a weapon. Yeah, the lead uh. is now just by one frag. They need to pull uh, together. And now it's even. No, I'm watching it. I don't know what's command at the moment because <laughs> it's so tight. Yeah, like, there will be quads. Soon. Like a virgin asshole. <laughs> no, I mean you do imagine a virgin and well, ah, necro can't make a jump. What? Bad luck, but Gerd managed to kill Pietra and killing quad. I'll yeah. spec the leader. HBQ managed to get the lead again, just by two frags, but they are leading. Eight minutes left. Ah, this map is known for its turnovers. Like you miss one quad, you miss second quad, and well, you see, you're already losing. Then you relax for a moment, and bah, you're... No, I mean, <laughs> I got it all wrong. You're winning, yeah. but you miss one quad, then second quad, and hop, you're already losing. You can't relax, it's always do or die here. 
another struggle for the quad. V3, oh, HBQ. Uh, how to say, wow. They managed to kill the, the mess guy again. Uh, they, messed, they messed each other up. Gert was about to jump for quad. But there was somebody jumped from his own teammates. Jumped in front of him. And, and this gave uh, V3 another second. So they made a quad grab. And it was lucky for HBQ that well, this quad didn't go anywhere. Died there with a grenade or a rocket. It's chaos on this map. At the moment I see only chaos. People trying to gather up somewhere. Yeah, sometimes it's better. Just try to distract Zorro the with a squad, okay. but surrounded by three enemies. Kills two, but <laughs> goes down by third. Yeah, but HBQ managed to quad was increase the, the difference to 10 tracks. Zorro at the moment in control of the quad area, waiting for the next super shotgun spawn. Oh, he, he, look, he looks a little bit more nervous than usually. Flicks his mouse. But aims perfectly. Still HBG, HBQ controlling this area. An incoming attack from the V3 with a chain gun. I think I what failed. is going to spout soon. David, uh, some arcade jumping, and he is with the quad. Oh, surrounded by several enemies, but he gets yeah, the quad and, doing and gets four frags already. Five, Fifth. six, six, and down yeah, that's... to nine HP. Six. That was some unfortunate spawning for Gert, who died three times. The quad. Now, sometimes you need to delay the timing, uh, delay the spawn. It's useful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when enemy is close. Well, five days left. HBQ is still keeping the difference in uh, in their favor by 13 packs. And they are in the in control of the quad area. By the way, David is the frag leader no for HBQ way. at the moment. Ah, I can't game. believe what we three or what killed. It's already one of my third time when uh, HBQ messes the quad pickup with a team kill. Still yeah, there in I the lead. I can't believe there were three HBQ guys and. Uh... Still, V3 guy took it. That's nice. Good job. Denying the quad. Need to remind that Vision is all HBQ himself. Of course. So, <laughs> his, his judgment of the situations are biased. No. However, I, I don't belong I to just... any of those plans. <laughs> I don't have my own preferences. Yeah, but I said that it was a good job by we three guy by taking quad while three HBQ guys were there. Quad taken by Zorre, killed on sight. 30 frags, uh, 23, 21 frags. Difference. Yeah. It's still comebackable. It is. But let's hope they won't do a comeback and we, we will see 5th map. I really wonder what they are going to choose. Stop wondering just yet. Bad sign if you wonder about the fifth map and it might not happen if you yeah, that's wonder true. too much about it. Yeah, of course it's if you're being superstitious. 
Because at the moment, V3 is at quad. Several guys. While Rascal with his mega. Camping somewhere at Super Shotgun. At the second Super Shotgun in the basement. Yeah, we each pretty managed to get another quad. I Which think is... this one will not survive too long. There's only... Oh, we managed to get some health. Yeah, HBQ is completely failing to, to... take the quads. Sometimes they manage to kill the quad guy, but... Oh, unfortunate misses by Physic. This was a useless quad run. Only one frag and still dead after all. One and a half minute till the end. Uh, the lead is 17 frags. I think V3 will take the next squad as well. Yeah. No. No, it's Rascal. With a chain gun, and I guess he had Mega. Now Super Shotgun, and I think he will bury V3 hopes for an easy win. Just now. Yes, one minute left. Uh, 18 frags lead. And that they, they won't make the comeback anymore. So this game goes in HBQ's favor. To the decider. And yeah, we will see the fifth map. You should, I think you should tell who will, uh, who will start kicking the first map. Yeah, I will count. Because the frags. Fizz manages to get the last quad of this game with only 10 seconds to go. And it's 160 to 137. Gert, the best scorer of Belgian dude. Aggressive Belgian dude. I mean, not in the in real life, but in Quake, his playing style is very aggressive. With 53 frags and 41 deaths, plus 12 nets, the best in this game. Then goes Necro with 36, Zorre with 36, 46 deaths and 48 deaths accordingly. And the last one, but with a good net. The good frag difference is Rascal 35 to 25. In the losing team, David proved to be the best player, 43 frags and 45 deaths. Fiziak or Fizz with 34 to 43. Feature 33 to 50 and CS3 27 to 45. Both last with minus 17 nets. Yeah, so uh, now we got the frog difference. One. Yeah, HBQ one by one, frags. One by frags. So they will decide who starts kicking. And yeah. the map pool is. Uh, I will give it in DM a second. DM3, DM5, DM6, 